Okay, I'm very excited to do this video here today. So what we're doing today is a stipulation draft for Dominaria. There's a lot of legendaries, a legendary in every single pack. A lot of them are multicolored. So my idea is, this is my idea, that we do a legendary only <laughs> draft pick. So we're going to only play legendaries as much as possible. We're going to be five colors, and we're going to try to pick up stuff like Skittering Surveyor, Juggernaut, and the always terrible Navigator's Compass in order to help us play all those colors. And yeah, time to join the league and uh, look forward to drafting it. This content is sponsored by mtgotraders.com. Buy cards online and box deliver them so quick your brain will explode. Or exchange your draft cards for tickets until you're puking money. The top online one-stop card shop, mtgotraders.com. Okay, let the draft begin, and we've got a legendary creature to pick here. Let's, can we make this a little bigger? Yeah, that's nice. So we've got a legendary uh, creature to pick here, so we are obligated to take it. I don't know what the sizing should be exactly. I think that is pretty readable, probably. But yeah, so... I, I had this idea as a joke, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to play five color uploaded as a funny video. But then it occurred to me that cards like Skittering, Surveyor, and especially Navigator's Compass are actually probably going to be late picks that people aren't going to pick early. So I'll get all my legendaries early is the idea, and then I'll get all of those late. The other thing that I was thinking is maybe I'll get some sweet legendary sorceries. And since I'll actually have a bunch of legendary creatures... And those sorceries are going to be harder to play for other people, especially since I'm taking all the legendaries, then maybe we'll get past some. So all together, here we get another legendary, so we're obligated to take it. Boom. So all together, um, perhaps this will turn out better than, uh, than you might imagine, even though it sounds terrible and there's no like dual colored lands outside of rare in the set. Not even a good old like um, evolving wilds. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. And look at this, you can cast historic spells as though they had flash. So that'll be all my other legendary creatures. <laughs> Boom, look at this, oh my God. This is working so perfectly because yeah, this is exactly what I was hoping would happen. You know, you can't pick these early so you just go boom okay so we're obligated to take legendaries the question is is this you know a legendary quote unquote that i'm obligated to take um i don't think so i was really going for legendary creatures being the obligation so let's take aether glider or aether glider um because I can always cast it. <laughs> We're going to lean heavily on these cards like this and Juggernaut. We'll also try to pick up some good removal when we can. Okay. Uh, no legendaries now. Um, hmm. What do I want to pick? So Memorial to Unity is always good, but it's hard to... It'll be hard for us to, you know... We have to have this out to make green and another thing that can make green to crack it later. Relic Runner is kind of sweet because it'll allow us, as whenever we play these, it'll become unblockable. Mm. This is really hard to choose. I think I'll just take the Relic Runner. All righty. So Adventurous Impulse I like because it'll help us find our other colors and being base green makes a lot of sense. On the other side, Haphazard Bombardment is pretty hilarious. <laughs> um, so I don't mind picking that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take the Impulse because it's a bit of a color fixer, you know? Do do do. Okay, here we go. I we are pretty much obligated to take these. Cause otherwise, how are we gonna actually do this? Look at this. Tiana ships K 
Caretaker. Now, I'm sad because I would actually maybe play this. It's Legendary Sorcery. It is double blue, which makes things rough, but... Boom. Legendary. All right, here's another Adventurous Impulse for us to find our lands that we need. I think that is the correct pick there. The trick is, since we're going to be five color, we are not really going to have a base color, so it's going to be tough to even cast these. Five color is just something that you should not do. <laughs> but we're doing it today for the entertainment value. All right, what do we get? Hmm. This is a colorless creature that I can actually cast. You know, slow things down a little bit. He'll do the block arenas. Hmm. Yep. All right, we can't, we, we just can't pick stuff that has this double stuff. This can maybe help us slow down the game a little bit. These last picks are not really that important in my opinion. This is a very tricky card. I don't really want to play it, but it is very tricky for people to play against due to the way that it's written. This is just random stuff. All right. What do we get? What do we get? Next pack. Let's move on. I'm I'm actually very happy with uh, four legendaries already. All right. So we have a legendary here that's double blue, but I can do the artifact tapping in order to do it, which makes it a single blue. That's awesome. Um, and it's the only legendary, so we are obligated to take it. <laughs> And we've act, we're, since we're going hard to try to get these, this is actually going to work out as far as tapping. Um, hmm. Oh, man, this is a hard choice. Somebody took our legendary. So what do I want to grab? Call the Cavalry is nice. Because we've got some white going on, and it just puts two bodies to slow things down. This is double green. I really want to play it because it does the whole grab land thing for us. Oh, that is rough. This is great because it works on all of our legendaries. <laughs> so I'll actually take that. Yes! He pumps all of our legendary creatures. I mean, I'm obligated to take it, but I actually want to take it. Now, this is interesting. These are both technically legendaries. I think we're going to wheel this, though. Like, first of all, we're snapping up all the legendaries. So people are going to look at that and say, you know, we got one legendary. I don't want to do it. So I'm going to take this. We'll try to wheel this. <laughs> yes, look at this. We got three of this one guy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to flashing in Arvad. Oh my god, yes, boy. This is sweet. See, I knew we'd get these legendary sorceries around. <laughs> this draft is hilarious. Now all we have to do is actually win while we're pl playing this, this many colors. Let's see, white, blue, black, red, green. Yep, we're already five color. Because I've been obligated to take these, I haven't even looked at some of the packs, but I'm hoping to getting, I really want one or two skittering surveyors would be great. And like two more compasses. I just gotta play that, you know, nonsense. Okay, hmm. I honestly think 
that I should take Sparring Construct. <laughs> Just because if I need to slow down the game and I can always play it. Or Power Stone Shard, I don't know. I'll take the Construct. There's no way we can play Colorless Land in this deck, so that's not a thing. I think I'll take Befuddle, because we can't cast these for sure. This is pretty low impact, can't cast this. This is pretty much a single option. Okay, so we get the Voltaic Servant, which we can cast. So sweet. Um, or we could do something like take this to try to... Hmm, I don't know. I think something that we can just randomly play early and isn't good is what I should do. <laughs> We're getting a lot of these Voltaic Servants. Now, Arcane Flight is interesting, but we've got so many natural flyers that I don't actually think that I need to. I think I'm just taking this. So now we can keep hands with random stuff. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. This is sweet. We've got enough impulses. If we get like one more, we might go actually pretty heavy green because it'll just allow us to find the other colors anyway. So having green, even though we don't have a lot of green permanents, will still be an upside. I don't know. It'll. This will be a heck of a building puzzle. I'm surprised that I haven't gotten some late compasses. Yeah, I'll just take the Vigor. I can't cast the other one. All right, pack three. <laughs> okay. Well, we're playing him. <laughs> Couldn't have more restrictive mana costs. Ah, we're playing her too. Not an option. Oh, this one's legendary. Technically, but <laughs> we'll just play her. I think the spirit of it is to take all the legendary creatures, right? Plus, when I have Arvod out, mm, <laughs> she'll be a 3-3 three, three for 3. That's good. Okay, so I think I have to take Grow from the Ashes. So... Yeah, I think I'll be, like, kind of heavy green, so I can, like, impulse, grow from the ashes, and then find these other colors. Because these are all coming, like, turn four and later. And I've got enough of this kind of nonsense that actually this guy's going to always be four mana with one of it blue for a five, six flyer. Which is pretty sweet, not going to lie. I don't even know what she does. Oh my god. So if I play her after one of my guys has died, then I just get to play it for free. <laughs> get that free value. Ooh, I like it. All right, do I have any things that I have to take? No. So what do I take when I don't have to take anything? Hmm. So I can flicker stuff with this guy. I like the idea of the Mammoth Spider, but honestly, I've got so many flyers, weirdly, that I maybe can just fight in the air normally. Hmm, it's a hard choice. They're also both four drops, which isn't, like, calling out to me as something I really want to do. Hmm. I'll do this. I'll just hope that this works. Okay. Nothing that I have to take. There's no way I'm playing this guy. Uh, I could play Homerid Explorer and mill myself because I've actually got a decent amount of things that care about the graveyard now. I've got Garna, um, Rona, I think one more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, this is something we might actually play. <laughs> but this is also also something that we might play. Because if I play this, 
then every time that I play something, I get another 2-2. Two -two. The only thing about this is, when I'm playing all these legendaries, they're actually pretty good. I don't think that I need a bunch of those, I just need a way to get to them. Or I could just take an impulse because I'm playing five colors. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to take this just so I can have a sideboard card here. Man, if I just want to impulse like crazy, guarantee I get all my colors, that's maybe an option. I've already got four of them though. I th I don't know, this might be worth a few tickets. I think I'm probably impulsing enough. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, I'll take the journey mage. I've got like actually tons of blue. Blue is gonna be one of my big colors here, so. Hmm. I will never be able to play like tricks reliably. This is double blue though, so that's pretty rough. I'm surprised I didn't get more navigators compasses. Uh, I think I'll just bring this in the sideboard. Okay, I don't think I have any enchantments that I really get to bring back. Um. I love that I have Ruinous Blast and Glorious Rebirth. <laughs> like, this works so well in my deck, and so does this. It's crazy. But I don't know. I'll take the Run Amok. Did I get it? Oh, no. Okay, whatever. Not an important one. I'll take the Snapper. And there we go. Done with the draft. <laughs> Time to build a deck. Oh, my gosh. This is pure nonsense. Okay, so we've got 32 cards that I considered possibilities. I think that we don't need this with all these servants. It's fine. We've got stuff to do early. Um, I want to keep this. It works with all of these guys. And green is going to be my base color just because these pulses should help us find the other colors. Um... Let's see, I'm not allowed to cut most of this stuff. Precognition field I'll skip because I'm so high end, I think I'm not gonna have time for this nonsense. Especially because this would just be for filtering my deck. I don't really have that many instant or sorceries outside of this that I can really use too much. I don't know, I've got a decent amount, but I think I just need to get creatures down when I finally have the chance. Um. Hmm. I know I want to keep these two two beastly cards. Um I there's a lot of things that I have that are flying, so I'm thinking of taking this out. It helps me cast Zahid. I think Befuddle I'm gonna skip on. The Explorer has some, like, combos with other things, but I just need to cut cards. And there's a lot of them that I can't cut. <laughs> so, the Sentinel. These... I don't think any of these... Okay, here's an Enter the Battlefield effect. So that's one that actually does something, right? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a combo or whatever, but I'm not overly excited about it. I think I'm going to skip it. I also want to just, like, cut the high end when possible. I think I'm going to cut the Relic Runner. Even though it'll just have, like, straight... Like, if I actually hit all my colors, it'll just be a straight unblockable 2-2, <laughs> which is pretty sweet. But we just need to, we need to open up some space. Um, yeah, I guess I'll get rid of this. It's nice that I get to cast it any time that I have three lands, even if they're all random colors, but it can't even block. 
and we've already got the whole flying thing down. I mean, we've got a actually a ridiculous amount of flyers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, we can't really cut this. It's legendary. Just want to cut two more cards. I'm really tempted to cut an animus, uh, adventurous impulse, but it's probably just very unwise to do that. Hmm. Yeah, there's not many that I get to choose to cut. I mean, the fact that these are legendary makes me, they work really well with my deck and they're legendary, so I feel like I shouldn't cut them. I like the idea of using this to stabilize. How many wizards do I even have? This is a wizard. This is a wizard. Is this a wizard? No. This is not a wizard either, right? I mean, I've actually got four wizards right there. Hmm. I think I'll cut this. There's just not too many things that I get to choose whether or not I cut them. Hmm. It feels wrong to cut these adventurous impulses. I mean, they turn into creatures when they don't turn into the lands that I need, basically. We're playing like a mono creature deck, so this is impossible to miss. Um, I mean, <laughs> look how many legendaries I have. It's actually amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> And then maybe 13, 14. I think what I'll cut... Because there's, like, no options. I could cut compass and just assume that I actually find the real lands. I don't like the idea of that, though. I could cut a Voltaic Servant, even though I like having these two drops. And these are the way that I get out Zahid quickly. I like that I might actually activate this. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I guess I'll take out a Voltaic Servant for the last one. I've still got three to try to cast him. Okay. <laughs> this is goofy. All right. Let's see what they think I should add. It's going to be wrong. Yeah. We're leaning on these adventurous impulses, so we actually need, like, a lot of forests. Um, for our black cards, they're all high-end. There's only one black symbol on each one. Um... Red is similar. So what is this? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I get to add one more color. I'd probably make blue my second biggest color because I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I've got a bunch of blue symbols going on. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. This is, this is one heck of a mana base. Let's see, if I could bring in one more color other than green, what would I do? Probably be white. I don't know if going down to seven forests when I'm leaning on these impulses so badly is a good idea. All right, I think this is what we're going to do. <laughs> That's definitely one for the comments. You can tell me how you'd do that if it was you. All right, let's play some games. We lost the die roll. I don't know, maybe being on the draw is not that bad when I need to find all my lands. Okay, so I've got... These are showing up just like I wanted them to, but we've only got a single swamp, so I'm going to mulligan this. Boom! This is exactly how, <laughs> how we drew it up. 
I'll put this forest on the bottom. I need other lands, not just any lands. All right, that is a really strong first turn. Let's see what we can find. Give me a different color. All right, I can pick between island and plains. Um, I think I'll take the plains because I got more creatures that want it right now. All right. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I don't know if we're going to end up casting anything. <laughs> Let the beatdown begin. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's how we drew it up. Mm. <laughs> it really is how we drew it up, guys. <laughs> All right. You know that uh, red spell that destroys uh, lands? <laughs> Somebody would be smart to bring that up against us. <laughs> All right, let's just draw a mountain. That would be great. All right. Oh my god! This deck is firing on all cylinders! <laughs> I don't even know if I care if we win anymore. This is a great deal of fun. Alright, I don't like that. <laughs> he's, he's going to Pound Town. Alright, so I am actually gonna block here because i'm just never gonna kick anything i have no kickers so that's fine three drop for three drop okay we'll play our blue and then we'll flash this in at end of turn and then we can flash this in <laughs> at some point because of this oh man who knew magic could be such a joy All right. Oh, he doesn't come in with the elves. That makes me sad. All right. Well, we are taking a beating. There's no question about that. <laughs> well, you know, we did... We did well, but as far as getting our colors, but I don't think that we can beat this. He just played, you know, he used all of his mana every single turn on good stuff. Oh my god! So, the problem is, Grun lives. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just casting it because, you know, you gotta. You can't not cast that. <laughs> All right, we got a block run. Not sure how we're gonna ever beat him, but we're gonna block him. All right, blocks because I don't want to die. All right. Um, I guess I'll just pass and... see what he does. It makes me sad, we almost beat. If he didn't play this, I we could have maybe won.
All right, more chump blocking. <laughs> Doesn't look too hot, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, oh, man, this is so, look at this. We've been able to cast all of our spells. But you know what, I, I think I just don't wanna show him more, more stuff. We can't cast more than one spell per turn, pretty much. We have no real removal. Yeah. So I think I just don't want to show him. So, but that we ran really well, like surprisingly hot. Um, so I guess my question is, what do I, oh, you know what? I should have kept playing. Cause maybe I could have thrown stuff in front, but I would have had to draw on a swamp and this spell like on the same turn somehow. So yeah, that actually wouldn't have worked, but, but we have to remember that this is in our deck for later. Um, yeah, hopefully he just doesn't like come at us so hard. He really, I'm tempted to do this just to get some weight off of our back. The question is, what do we take out? I mean, I literally can't take out anything <laughs> that's more than a three drop. Um... The Servant helps with just blocking smaller stuff and um, playing Zahid. I'm just going to run it back. Our deck's perfect. <laughs> I would love to play first. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're just going to be able to cast anything. If we find a... If we find a... Uh, a blue spell? We're gonna go Halar into Zahid because of Voltaic Servant. That would be disgusting. Also, there's a bit of construction going on around here, so you might hear that. All right, let's get impulsive and find a blue. Oh, yes. Okay, we're definitely taking the land. <laughs> Although it makes me sad that we're not gonna see Urza's Ruinous Blast. And we'll pass the turn. No Lanawar Elves. Just slow down a little bit, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're curving out. There's no question. <laughs> this deck is perfect. <sighs> A work of art. What does he play? What does he play? Jousting Lance? Okay, that is fine with me. That will not be equipped for a while. Wow, look at this. We're going to get the fight and everything. Oh my god. Our deck is so perfect. It's actually unbelievable. Are you guys are you guys going to draft this at FNM? New secret tech, first week. <laughs> first week, you get to come with a, a new build. <laughs> oh. I, I honestly don't even care if I win. This is just so fun. Winning would, of course, add to the sweetness. All right, so... How do I do this? Cast for this, tap a thing. And he even untaps to block a sapperling. <laughs> Who's getting curved on now? Hint, it's them. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is actually going to be sweet. Let's see what he does. If he's equipping, oh, okay. I was going to say, if he's equipping, I'd be more than happy to see that. Oh, we are so close to actually casting this. So. Uh, I think I'm just going to attack with these two. 
if they try to get in front of Halar, then I get to Ancient Animus, blow them out hor horrifically. I'm sorry about the construction. I thought they actually weren't constructing today. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And I will Ancient Animus this guy with this guy. Do the thingy. Mmm! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, we got a game win already with this stupid deck. It's great. <laughs> well, we've already decided it's perfect, so. Yeah, I I'm gonna really figure out what that is before I do another one. Look at this. See, perfect. Our deck is running as intended. Of course, there's no way that we're not going to run into a failure of our mana base at some point, but I'm happy that it's going like this for now. Get to play a legendary on turn two. If we draw a swamp next, then we get a legendary turn three. <laughs> Oh my god, he didn't have a drop. Well, I want... Th <laughs> that is unbelievable. We're really getting all of our colors. I'm super into it. And Ancient Animus is just, like, <laughs> so absurdly strong in this deck. Oh my god, yes! Like, I feel like this is strong in their deck. I feel like I should just Ancient Animus and get in there. It does make this uh, not unblockable anymore, but hey. I, I think the green deck we should cut off of Ramp. Alright. Let's get in there. <laughs> if I win this first match, I'm just gonna feel like a genius. We do need one of the other two colors before we can cast literally anything from this point onwards other than Voltaic Servant. But look at this, Adventurous Impulse coming in exactly when we need it. Oh, this is disgusting. Is anyone else disgusted by <laughs> by what is happening. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually casting creatures consistently. Oh, he didn't believe it. That's fine. I thought maybe he would give us some unnecessary level of respect, but he didn't. Oh no. Mammoth Spider. That is no fun at all. Alright. Well, our bluff attack costs us two life. Sad days, sad days. <sighs> so I could play Garna. She has Flash. You know what? I should just not play her. Maybe I'll get, get a tricky something going on. All right, just pass the turn. See what he does. Oh my god. It's so big. I forget, was it last game or this game that we put in Urza's Ruinous Blast on the bottom? Because that thing would be absolutely absurd right now. Um, I think I'm just supposed to flash this in. Uh, 
All right, what do we get? Ugh. Oh, no. oh my gosh, that would be so good. Oh my gosh, that would be great. Just need that white mana. We've got two more adventurous impulses. We've got the search a land one. Um, grow from the ashes. Ooh, ooh, that just that thing is a beater. I'll just take seven for now. Ooh, okay. That is an expensive price without sapperlings. Mmm, what to do? Oh, we've also got the, uh, the artifact for one that turns stuff into any land you want. Yeah, we got a lot of things that could help us cast these. Um... Hmm. For now, I'll just play Voltaic Servant, I think. And I will just actually uh, block with this, as far as the 7-6 goes. Oh man, if I get... If I get a white source at this point in time, we would do so well. We just trade aggressively with this out, get crazy value, cast Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Oh my god. I want it to happen so badly. Just any white source. I mean, including the actual things themselves, we've actually got like, I don't know, like six or seven left in the deck. He's playing big stuff. Please. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Oh. oh, I've never been so happy in my life. I mean, I have, but this is sweet. <laughs> Look at this nonsense. I mean, this one can actually attack. That's funny. But I'm just going to keep back some blocks. And then we're going to block the worm and, you know, trade off as much as whatever. And then we'll do our glorious rebirth. Not a regular rebirth. One that is truly glorious. Wow. Instant. So. <sighs> how do I want to block? Um, so the thing that's the biggest one is the plus four plus four, which make it have ten. So if we put this in front... I mean, if we just put all three in front and let him decide what he wants to kill, that would be fine. He can't kill more than one of each without any, um... He can't kill more than one without a trick. All right. I am very surprised that they killed this. These other ones are kind of just better. <sighs> ah. Okay. Well, I mean, if you if you want to go to the Value Town, don't worry. We we can go to Value Town. <laughs> now that we don't need it, right? The one thing that I should consider in playing... I'm not going to play any more lands, because we don't need them. And uh, he could have that uh, kicker that makes us... Um, 
that makes us have a big problem uh, for discarding cards. And if we discard this, I, I don't think we can win. So what do we want to do here? Um, I could actually attack with Garna. Because I kind of just want to get as much value as I can when I can. This can always block the big boy. Yeah, I'm going to attack with Garna. See if he wants to trade off a creature for it. Give me a creature, any creature. I will take a Mammoth Spider. No? All right. He don't want to do it none. That's fine. The fact that we have this in our deck is just a laugh and a half. <laughs> All right. And the big boy. Well, we're not attacking anymore. He's coming in. So. Oh, crap. Cancel. Cancel that. Oh, right. I should be doing the exile stuff. I forgot about that. I think we've been using our mana for the most part, but yeah, my legendaries have legendary abilities. <clears throat> anyway, we'll block. Okay, let's do this. Uh, one, two, three, four. What do we get? What do we get? Planes. All right, that's fine. Now we don't have to draw the land. Oh my gosh. That could really be quite good for us. Really, seriously. Um, so this next turn, we're going to end up doing the block here and block wherever else. And yeah, we'll exile something with Rona. It says you may cast these exiled with Rona, but what if Rona is not in play? I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't want to tap her down right now. We'll be asking for a lot of damage if we do that. All right, what happens now? If I get one of my flyers, he's going to be pressured to attack with more. Can you imagine Urza's Ruinous Blast right now? <laughs> that would be truly, truly outrageous. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I wanted to do the Rona thing. Oh, no. I am so sad. Well, let's see what we draw. Okay, I like this. Uh, yep, we'll just get the biggest thing. Any order. And our opponent doesn't have too big of stuff right now. It might be good to still do the trade arenas. I'm not, I'm not super scared of dying. Although this, he can sacrifice two things and bring this back right now. But that's okay. We'll just block it with this or whatever. Use our, our Rona. Like, actually use our Rona this time. And eventually do the primeval. Do, do, do. He 
he's gonna do it, isn't he? Yeah. What is he gonna sacrifice like this and this? Or yeah, this and this maybe. Yep. I'm okay with this because we just get to throw away cards, man. The glorious rebirth awaits. So now we're going to actually use this ability. What do we get? Oh, oh that was the end step of my turn, not his turn. Oh, my God. That might kill us. How much does he have to attack with? Uh, I, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. He is coming in though, okay. So we're gonna end up taking some damage here, but that is fine. I'm gonna put one under the bus and one trading for the envoy. All right. What do we get? Forest. Okay. So can we live if I'm really greedy and just play this out? No, there's no way. So we have to rebirth now. Or unless I have enough mana to do both, but there's no way. Seven plus four. Seven plus five, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even if I've been playing my lands, I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay. Well, I think we just have to be glorious. And we'll get back one, two, three, four creatures. And then we'll be able to play this Tiana. Yeah, this is going to be sweet. All right, let's do it. One more. Boom. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so dumb. All right, I'll just play my land now. So, oh right, we have a bunch of hasty dudes now. Can we just kill this kill this fool? Um, he's at thirteen, so no, right? No, we can't. But we're still grinding them out, and this Rona is just gonna keep doing doing God's work. All right, it keeps coming in. So <clears throat> these two don't have like real abilities. So I'm just gonna toss them under the bus. If he has the plus four, plus four, he still doesn't win this combat, so he just gets to pick whichever one he wants. I don't really care. All right, and we're gonna get a flyer next turn. And it'll be a five, five flyer <laughs> with first strike. Could not be more excited for this right now. Yeah, we can beat that guy. Whoa. No. I wonder what he's going to have it fight. Is he going to have it fight this? I guess he's probably going to have it fight this. Because this guy... This would be the second choice, but we'll see what he picks. Oh, okay. All right. I accept that.
Man, Urza's Ruinous Blast. Was it this game that I put it on the bottom? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I Can I cast both of these? I need two whites. And then we need a blue and a red. Yeah, I think I can cast both. The only question is, if I have this out, can I cast this with Flash? I mean, technically, you should be able to. You may cast it. Yeah. Should be able to. So I can actually do all of that at instant speed. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This one's 5, and this one's 4. So yeah, I should be able to, hypothetically, um, yeah, just suddenly poop out two 3-3 three, three flyers. It is sad against Mammoth Spider, but we'll, we'll see if I can... And then I'll be sad if this interaction doesn't work, because my understanding of the rules says it should, but sometimes MTGO is not ready for a new set to come out. All right, so he sacrificed, sacrifices these two, probably. All right. Oh my God, that thing is gonna get destroyed. <laughs> if he attacks me with that, he is gonna get wrecked. Okay. Oh, well, that's a lot of mana. I hope it isn't the 10 10. Grun the Lonely King. Please, no. Oh. Wait, does he have multiples or was it bought back somehow? Oh, it was brought back by Mending. Okay, well, that's not my favorite. Okay, so we have to do this now. Uh, cancel. Let's use this to make this a planes. And then we'll do planes, mountain, green, green. All right. Goodbye, disciple. You were loved. God, I want Urza's Ruinous Blast so badly right now. It would be so good. It would be so good. Hmm. So how do we want to block? Because we actually get a chance to kill one of these stupid spiders right now. This thing doesn't really do anything right now other than give my creatures haste. And he's got the stupid spiders, so I just need to get rid of the spiders. I think this is fine, and I just take a bunch of damage and whatever. All right. All right. Not attacking. Man. He had so much value. The Whisper, the Mending, all that jazz. Mm, that, that was, we fought through quite a bit here, but I think it is just over. All right, well. Four comes through, I'm dead, so I'm just dead. Oh man, we were so close to winning that. <laughs> They're a five color deck. Okay, we are back for another game. 
Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so we can play one of these and then use Navigator's compass to impulse. This is actually good. And you know, all of our last games that we played, it was amazing to me, <laughs> like, the fact that I was casting spells, like, the entire time. So, I'm... I'm actually pretty happy with, with our first... I mean, we're breaking new ground here. This is some this is some serious magic occurring. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really happy with uh, what's going on so far. All right, let's start by um, using adventurous impulse. <laughs> This is so goofy. All right, uh, I think I'm taking Zahid, because we've got the Voltaic Servant. We're actually not too far from casting him. Oh, yeah. And if we get one more land, we have to play Marwyn with the Navigator's Compass. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe that's wrong. But he is so big. <laughs> He's so big. That's just a card that can just kill people. We'll have to see. All right, don't play something. Lame. I mean, there's no way we're not going to hit the land that we need for him. We've got Adventurous Impulse. Card's broken. Okay, we're going to want a Forest this time. Impulse. Um, man, that's a good card. I'll take the Swamp because I don't... Yeah, I'll just take the Swamp. And play the Swamp. Onwards. Next turn, we play either Marwyn or Rona, and then Zahid. I think I'll play Marwyn just because having more mana is very fine. No, 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 don't curve out. Stop. Don't do the curving. Don't do the outing. Um, also, because we don't have a land. Yeah, I just really want to cast this. Forest. Look how great this compass is. <laughs> when you're playing five color. <laughs> All right. This brings me great joy. So next turn we get to Zahid, for sure. And he should be able to hold off any shenanigans unless they play a historic card and get this through, but if that happens, it happens. All right, don't play a four drop though. Okay, I accept. Hey, <laughs> look at that. Um, so I know that I was talking about playing Zahid, but you know what? This blocks these guys pretty good. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to go for that. It's not as big, but we're, we're definitely going for the value. And we have, once again, never not been able to play the spells that we want to play. <laughs> and he's coming in. I like it. I like it. All right. Get in there, buddy. 
<laughs> oh my god, and if he lives, then we get to play this at instant speed. Phew. Gets better. <laughs> oh, that was dirty. That was that was very dirty. Okay, so this is interesting because actually no, it's not interesting. This is an easy choice. If I miss with the impulse, I still get to play Zahid. No problem. So let's impulse. Oh, Arvad, you say? Yes, please. Yes, please. It does make me sad to keep putting Urza's Ruinous Blast on the bottom of our deck, but... Um, yeah, so we're going to play Zahid once again during their, uh, their combat. Get in there, buddy. Oh my god. That construction. That construction. My my building itself is undergoing renovations and they've been doing it for months. So now he has to ask himself, is he going to get in there? Like we can block Skizik. Oh, how is that possible? We can actually block that, no problem. Oh, gross. All right, he's coming in. All right, so we pay the four, tap an artifact. Boom, it's a five, six. Okay. <laughs> So if we block this, then we still take six. If we block this, which is what I want to do, then we take six, seven, eight. That does put us to three. That is pretty low. I don't like going that low. Doesn't bring me great happiness to go that low. Let's just go to blocks. Um. This is going to sacrifice anyway, because he only paid four for it. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean, we go to three. Then if I block this, then we take five, six. Wait. Five, six, seven, eight. And then if we block this, then we take five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Am I being, am I being weird? That doesn't make any sense. I block this. I take one. Four. Five, six. Yeah, yeah. It's six or eight. So do I want to take six or eight? Um, I'm just going to take less damage, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because that... we've just got such good things happening here, so... I feel like if we just put ourselves out of harm's way, we have a great chance of just winning easily. So, uh, I think I'm going to bonk them with Zahid, because um, I can always boop out Arvad. Or I could leave him back and keep it a little bit slower and do Wrath instead. Yeah, that's probably fine. Alright. Let's see if he can continue to attack us. It's honestly kind of crazy how much we're getting attacked. Okay, I like that.
Oh my god. Okay, so if we cast this, then we'll have 6, 11 in the air, and then we play Arvod on our turn, attack in the air, and he's dead. Oh, but he has a Sarah Disciple, so that doesn't work. Um... Yeah, because of that, I'll I'll just I'll still play this. That way we can keep Arvod as a trick. Oh no. Oh my god, I am such a moron. There is actually literally a price for playing legendaries. Oh no. Well, that's that's one way to look like a complete moron. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. If he plays a historic spell, we are like actually maybe in trouble. I mean not really. This guy's got lifelink. We'll be fine. Okay, let's let's tighten this up. Man, wow. It's just you don't think about it in limited. <laughs> oh god. All right. We're waiting again. Jousting lance. That's a good card. Oh. The tapping is happening. Ruh row. He can't pay for the equip unless he has a land too, though. So that's not the end of the world. Whew. All right. See, I wanted to be tricky, so I didn't do another thought, which occurred to me, which is play Arvod, then this taps for three, and then Voltaic Servant, which is a bit safer. But I wanted to get the value, so let's hope that... Is this enough? It's probably enough. Okay. So if I block here, and then I block here, I take five, gain three, I'll be at three. So hopefully he doesn't have any combat trick arenas, otherwise I am really dead. Woo! All right. Let the games continue. Um, so I've got 15 power. I mean, that is a true statement. The thing is, if I do that, I lose to Gideon's Reproach. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like losing to lame Gideon's Reproach. I think what I'll do is I'll bonk him for seven. This Raph is just laughing at me for what I did before. I think I'll bonk him for seven, play Garna to block this, and move on from there. I just don't want to lose to like a Skizik or, you know, whatever lame thing. Yeah, so we're, we're taking the conservative route. Because he hasn't played any removal, I mean... The idea that he wouldn't have even a Gideon's Reproach is... Ugh, I'm not willing to bet on it, I guess. It's a common. Sarah Angel? That's fine. Alright. End step. Use this. <laughs> Turn this into a mountain. It is now a mountain. Uh, 
All right. Yeah, that's a good card. I can just I can just win now, right? Because I can just if I play this and attack with everything, he's at seven. If he lets any two through, he loses. Yeah, and he's got no yeah. This is great. This is this is magic. <laughs> this is dumb. Oh. So we're not going to play any matches where I don't take one off of them. You know what I mean? That is not happening. Okay, so these guys are coming at us pretty hard, pretty fast. So the question is, do we want to do something that's a little bit more early game? We don't really get to change much. These five, I f I'm playing a five color deck. It would just be ridiculous to remove those. This is a removal spell. Can get us back from behind. We've never even drawn Grow from the Ashes and we've been doing fine. That being said, it just seems ridiculous to not have Grow from the Ashes in my five color deck. The thing that I would bring in if I could bring in anything, since we've got three islands, it would either be like a Befuddle, a Relic Runner, or just another Voltaic Servant, because I can always cast them. Oh, man, I just can't side out anything in this deck. <laughs> it's so it's so focused on being five color. We've got all the five color and then the stuff to cast five color and that's pretty much it. I think I think I'm just gonna run it back. I mean colors we're only missing one. I can't believe other people are mulliganing. <laughs> and we're just like, yeah, five color deck, no problem. <laughs> Such a joke. Look at you. This deck is perfect. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not great. Um. I don't think there's something where I ever need actually a second green. So I'll just take the red. This guy is the proper color for siding in the land destruction spell against us. <laughs> that would be savage. Hey, and he's not coming on too hard. I like that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We are now flooding. We're in, we're in flood territory. We don't like that. All right. Yep, can't block, so wasn't even an option. All right. Let's see what he plays now. I'll take an un unkicked Skizik. Hit me. Oh, boy. Menace, huh? We do have a lot of flyers. So that's not actually the end of the world. Oh my god. That needs to stop. All right. Let's do this. Oh no. I want all of them. So this one I can actually cast right now. This one I can actually cast at some point. 
This one I'll be able to cast a little bit sooner. Ugh. This is a really hard choice. Oh, I can cast it sooner hypothetically, but I don't actually have white. So it's between these two. I mean, this one's more powerful. It costs one mana more. Yeah. That's a lot of juice to put on the bottom of the deck. I could get Gideon's Reproached here. No, I'm just not seeing him playing it. I don't know that this guy... If at the end of this game I don't see one... I'll be reconsidering how much respect I give that card. Okay, all right. This is starting to be a pro. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Give me a blue. Give Give me a white. Give me a white. I need it. I need it. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Oh my God! Please. What do I have? I've got four adventure. I've got two more adventurous impulses. I've got uh, the thing that searches for a land. I've got my artifact. Um, I've got. Oh, what else do I have? I need to draw it right now. Actually, not actually, because. Oh, yeah, I, I actually do have to draw it right now. Okay, draw it. Go! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That is actually disgusting! <laughs> oh no. Oh man. I feel a little bad. That was gross. Oh, this is a legendary. We still have a problem on our hands. Although his other stuff was exiled, so there is that. Oh, man. So I'm definitely going to try tr to trap this thing. I didn't attack, by the way, because I'm afraid of Skizik and other, like, lame haste creatures. I just don't have the life to spare. Oh my god, that is that is scary. Okay. So I can play mage into this at instant speed um at some point. Um yeah. And I'm just going to hold these up to um to double block this and you know, I I just have to be responsible. Okay, but I think I'm going to get this for free in the meantime. This one's a nail biter. There's no question about that. Nail biter. Thank you so much, Urza. Even if it's not enough, I'm so glad that you came today. I mean, he can't not attack with this. Oh my god. Am I just dead? No, I'm not just dead. That is really annoying, though. Oh wait, no, I am, right? Because I can flash this in and block here. If I block here, two still tramples over. This needs to block this. Oh my god. Oh wait, but I can also bring in Rona, right? Because at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I've got enough. I've got enough. I almost lost hope. Oh man. Okay, I mean, I don't really want to exile that from my graveyard. Because she's going to die right now, right? 
if I use this and this to block Skizik, then one of them lives, and then this blocks Halcyon, and this blocks here. Yeah, this thing is dying no matter what, so... Because of that, I don't want to actually do this. Because I can get her back with Glorious Rebirth later, and in that case, then I'll actually be able to get it back. Okay. So I block this here, I block this here, and then I double block here, one of them lives. All right. Man, I can't believe we're still alive. That is truly a shock. And again, there's just no way, Jose, that we are attacking right now. Ugh. My hope is to get the double block in on this uh, Halcyon and then uh, have this left over. Just a big beefy boy. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, please. That's, yeah, I'm still alive. All right, the best thing to get right now is the primeval rebirth. <laughs> That's what I need. Although one of these lives, that's, that's not so bad. Okay, this can fight. That's great. Uh, I, I think I, I'm just gonna get in the one damage. There's no way he has two Skizzics, and the other Hay stuff is smaller. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably wrong. Might not be wrong, though. Let's see what he plays. Trapper? Okay. Do I just fight it now? Yeah. Once he has something in hand, it'll be more scary. I'll just do it now. All right. Glorious rebirth. No. Well, top deck wars. It's just our top decks can be so powerful. And he's got like... Bellinish marshals and whatever. <sighs> so hopefully we just get our powerful. Oh, what is this? Oh no, that is a perfect top deck. We need to draw a creature or we just lose right now. Or removal spell or literally anything. <sighs> I'd even take the thing that gets me three life. Oh, okay, that's fine. That is fine. Anything to prolong the game. <sighs> Definitely not attacking now. <laughs> is he coming in? Don't come in. Oh. oh. Um. A block like this, I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
Oh, I'm at one life. I still need to do something. Please tell me this is land. No! This is actually super bad. Ooh! I take Arvod, too. I have so many good draws. Okay. That digs. That digs deep. No! Oh, okay. Looks like we're going to game three. <laughs> okay, so our guy really does like playing little dudes. Hmm. We have never drawn Grow from the Ashes, and our deck has always been good anyway. Just something to slow things down a little bit. Mm. Ugh. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Whatever. Oh, can I undo that? Can I, like, bring this in? Yeah. <clears throat> I was thinking he's got some equipment and he's got that aura maybe the journey mage is better than the voltaic servant i mean it's the opposite of what i said i wanted to do but this really does slow them down once you can cast it yeah i'll do the journey mage instead all right i would love to play first against my aggro opponent oh if one of these was our our adventurous impulse i might have kept it Ooh, these are our main colors here. We can cast a lot with this. Going down to five in a five color deck is just not that good of an idea. I'm gonna keep this. Hmm. I'm gonna look for something more juicy than that. We still have other colors to unlock and infinite legendary creatures. It's a pretty weak keep. It doesn't make me happy at all, but we do have to be responsible when we're playing five colors. I don't mind drawing that because it's a uh, another color. Okay, that's a good card. Also, since this is black, then it still can't block it. Come on. Well, <laughs> we have all five colors. All five colors unlocked. All right, whoop, bump my mic. All creatures from now on. Right, MTGO? Right? That's surely what you're going to give me. Uh-oh. We're getting curved out on. I'm a feared. Okay. <clears throat> this can block Knight of Grace. He hasn't shown any pump spells, like, at all. Or Gideon's Reproaches, for that matter. Man, we've been chatting so much that we're actually low on time. I didn't realize that. I'll, I'll speed up. All right. Yes. Arvod, buddy, where you been? I'll play you. Look, a two mana three five. Tarmogoyf ain't got nothing on that. 
And the beatdown is very real. We can't just cash this in yet, though. It's good with so many top decks. And speaking of top decks, I would love that Urza's Ruinous Blast just about now. You know, that's pretty close. So basically, our game plan now is block as much as we can. Oh, but we don't really get to block that much because because of the flyers doing four in the air. But anyway, play Garna. All righty. Now what happens? The ground is pretty clogged up. Well, I guess I'm not the only one with Tiana, legendary angel. This is, of course, very, very bad because we have no air prevention. What I want to draw right now is the Flash Flyer. That way he comes in as a 5-5 three, three, five, five, um, Flash Flyer. He'd really, really ruin this game. What do we get? Can still get our flash flyer. I've got two or three copies of him. Oh no, this is a disaster. Cause he's got exactly seven in the air and this can block my lifelinker with complete impunity. Um, so, yeah, we have a huge problem. Uh, I'm going to attack with Arvod and just say, hey, you sure I don't have um, some some spell? I, I really don't have an option. They're going to kill me in the air. I need to gain life. It's very easy for me to get called out on this, but if I don't, then I get to live another turn. Oh, man. Yeah, that's game. That is game. Dang. Man, our sweet deck has just come so close. So close. All right, let's concede. We're conceding. Let's draw a card. Let's see what would have happened. Oh, he was right there. He was right there. Oh, he would have been so good. Oh, man. All right. Okay, we're back. We're playing first. We've got a perfect hand, which we always have a perfect hand. It's so insane. I'm playing five color like I'm in cons. Like, <laughs> no problem. Oh, my God. So we've gotten a game off of everyone that we've played against. Are, we've never had like mana problems with this sweet build and honestly what we've been doing feels really powerful and like it hasn't felt like we've just been getting destroyed you know we've really been like there's always like oh man I could still draw like you know these five or six cards that would get me out of this you know we always had out so this actually feels sweet um if you guys like this all legendary thing, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want me to do it again, because honestly, I'm enjoying this a lot. I, I would record this again for you guys.
<laughs> look at this deck. This deck is just like obscene. Um, so yeah, I would I would happily do this again because it seems like a really. Uh, I I actually of all the stuff that I watch of Magic on YouTube, I watch very little. What I do like is seeing like interesting decks being played. So if you guys are that way and you think this is one of those interesting decks, let me know. I think I th I'm willing to do it again if you guys are willing to watch. All right, that card is sweet, but we'll just play a 3-3. Three, three. If he attacks us with this, I'm going to give it to him that he has it and not block. Yep, I am not blocking a first striker like that. Things just go wrong in so many ways. Well, I guess I can have more first strike. All right, so we're just going to attack back for three. And then flash in Wrath, end of turn. I'd love to draw land. But yeah, this deck has just been running super smoothly. And I mean, the legendaries do have a lot of sweet abilities, especially this guy has been an all-star in this deck because just everything that I play is historic. So after I have him down, just literally everything that I do happens at instant speed. It's just so absurd. Yep, not blocking. Oh, you know, he tapped out. This was the time to do this. Oh no, but then it would get uh, plus one, plus oh, so. So yeah, I, I wasn't blocking anyway, but yeah. Now if I draw a land, then I get to keep up, play Arvod, and just have... Um... Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, a five drop blocker, which is psh, a lot better. Um, alternatively, I could just attack him right now. And then if he doesn't block, then I just play Arvod and hit him for 10? That seems good. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to close out the game with my sweet legendaries. I'm surprised we haven't gotten any messages about the fact that we're playing <laughs> five colors. Nobody's like, hmm, that's, that's an interesting deck you got there, boy -o. Nope, nobody cares. Take 10. <laughs> this is goofy. All right, pass turn. Don't hurt me, sensei. You know what would be sweet in this deck? Helm of the Hosts. Just get like these self replicating. <laughs> All right. So our opponent is trying to tell us hey, five power first strike. Maybe you should stop attacking me now. Well then. Well, now we don't have to draw those later. In you go. At 
This is great. This is the bee's knees. All right. When your opponent's at that low of a life, you never know when a 1-3 is going to be relevant. Yeah. Okay, fine. That has almost never been useful. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, man. This deck is the shit. <laughs> All right. I mean, are we going to have a single match where we actually have mana problems? That looks like a no. <laughs> so we're a five color deck. This is a five color hand. Awkwardly, we still can't cast Jota with it, but I feel like I cannot not keep this. I mean, I could mulligan for a little bit more action. Oh. oh, this is a really hard decision. I'm gonna keep this. It just seems wrong to play a hand, to have a hand for your opener that can cast like almost everything in your deck and then not keep it when you're five color. So yeah, I'm keeping it. Oh, also we've got an Afghan vet. I should thank him for his service. Do that. Didn't notice. My mic's in the way of my typing. Your name. Thank you for your service. All right. That's a card that I like. Did not, uh, we need some more legendaries before it becomes relevant, but hey. All right, so we're not getting curved out on maximally. Okay, um, that is really awkward. <laughs> that is, that's a thing. If I draw an island, I'm just in business. That's the thing that I love about this deck. Like, there's just so many things where I'm like, if I draw this, I'm just so fine and unconcerned, you know? Our opponent stops curving out on us. Yeah, I can play that. So I will. Um, yeah. Turn you. Into a island. And then the real question is, am I still worried about the top of my deck? Like, do I want to trade this off for two? Or do I just keep it because I still can't cast anything in my hand and activate it next turn? Because ah. that means I'm not blocking for two turns if I make that decision. I think that's the decision that I have to make. Mm. This is actually the first game in all of our matches that I felt like, you know, we're having a rough start. And that happens to people with, like, two-color decks or three-color decks. We're playing five colors. Five colors, baby. <laughs> all right. Come on. Let's get a thing. 
That's a thing. <clears throat> so next turn, he's probably, if I were him, I would equip this to here. That way I can get that lifelink first strike. And boom, when that happens, we're going to snap it off. Turn it into a, a dead strike. Especially since this already has first strike. Our opponent is a little crimped on mana, but I am I feel no sympathy. Is he just going to attacks? Ooh man. Alright, I'm just gonna I need to stop taking damage at some point, so I'm just gonna do this now. Please don't have a thing that ruins this. Please no. Not the 2 2 indestructible. Okay. Whew. Oh, and it shrinks this down a little bit. I forgot about that. Well, that is just. That is a thing I appreciate. So this can block this next turn now. So that's wonderful. Can't block that. I don't I would want a blue or red. Either one's fine. Yes. All right. We're doing the lamp. Now it stops the I can block this guy, all sorts of nonsense. Definitely doing it. All right. Blue, whatever. Uh You know what? I should not tap that way. Just because there's the the fungal thing. So this might put some thoughts in his head about fungal infections and how they feel when they're eating away at your feet and all that kind of thing. Whew. Well, this is about as stable as this deck is ever going to get. <laughs> Eight life is not unhealthy. Hmm, he could put the Jousting Lance here and then he would trade for Rona, but I'd be okay with that. But he already trades for Rona if I double block, so there's no point in doing that. A construction. All day, every day. They really start early. They start at like six here and they just go all day, all day. All right, no attack arenas. Oh my God. <laughs> See, this deck is just so good. This deck is just unbeatable. I mean, people have beaten it twice, but I got games off of them. <laughs> All right. That card is so ridiculous in, the, in this deck. It's truly absurd. All right, show me what you got. Oh, all right, we won. We won a match. And we didn't lose any matches without first taking it to them and getting a game out of them. This was seriously a joy to play. You know, it's almost like a puzzle that I get to put together over time. Um, if you guys like this, please hit that like button and actually let me know. Put comments down um, in the comments section if you want to see this done again. I think it's actually really sweet and this early in the... Uh, in the draft environment, I think that people aren't thinking of this. You know, this is a really darn deep strategy um, for this early in the in the format. So if I'm going to do another one of these, I should just do it pretty right away. Because um, just the way that it drafts is natural for this deck. You get all your legends at the beginning of each pack, and then you get all of your like green fixing and artifact fixing um as late picks so i don't know this is pretty sweet 
you guys let me know down in the comments if you liked it. Um, and of course, if you like this kind of ridiculous content, you gotta hit that subscribe button. Anyway, love I love playing with you guys today, and I'll see you next video.